Hey YouTube, another video and this time I've built a circuit which I call a stop counter and it basically counts and once it reaches to the end of the count it will stop. Um, before we talk about anything let's see how it works so we can see now that the circuit is on, it's powered and uh, we have these two buttons and once I press this button here it will start counting and once it reaches the end of the count it will pretty much stop there we go and um, in order to reset it we press both buttons again it goes into on mode and once we press the on button again it starts counting and this is what it does um, what we have here is a 555 timer we have two LS163 binary counters and uh, this one provides a carry-on to this counter here we have a flip-flop C4070 dual flip-flop actually and uh, the carry-on of this counter once it reaches uh, 256 it will send a signal to the flip-flop that will engage and the ground of the 555 is sinking into the flip-flop so right now we're on the the K for example and uh, the ground is connected to the J of the flip-flop so that means that the timer isn't working and it's not counting to reset the system you can see that if we press any of the buttons nothing happens but once we press both buttons we're actually carrying out two steps um, the first one is that we provide a high to the pin well to the flip-flop that takes it back into the counting mode it will uh, also provide in the same time a low through this NPN transistor to the reset pins of the counter and by flipping the flip-flop uh, we're allowing another cycle to go through the timer and that resets it and the cycle occurs because we're pressing this button which allows ground to go momentarily through the to the timer here the purpose of building the circuit initially was to demonstrate the, the functionality of these timers when, when we provide a carry on and we can you can cha chain them together I call it and um, pro produce any size number that you want to count I've built uh, these two in this configuration uh, working on another video showing how to read and write the memory but I wanted to make a demonstration out of these uh, two separately like I do with um, most of my videos so um, this circuit came out and um, I hope you liked it uh, I'm gonna make a schematic for it because it's it's pretty nice and I'm sure some of you will want to replicate it and um, put it on my website pretty soon hope you like this video and if you like my videos please subscribe and I'll see you next time thank you for watching